difference between gas and vapors vapors represent a gas state of a substance which is liquid at room temperature a substance which is in gas state at room temperature is called a gas but not vapor for example ammonia is a gas not vapor but water on heating forms water vapors chemical classification broadly speaking all kinds of matter may be classified into two types homogeneous and heterogeneous the word material is commonly used for all kinds of matter whether homogeneous or heterogeneous a material is said to be homogeneous if it has uniform composition and identical properties throughout since any distinct portion of matter that is uniform throughout in composition and properties is called a phase hence a material is said to be homogeneous if it consists of only one phase one phase means uniform throughout in composition and properties that is called phase so a material is said to be homogeneous if it consists of only one phase on the other hand a material is said to be heterogeneous if it consists of number of phases its different composition and different properties throughout that particular thing the composition of each phase is uniform throughout within itself but is quite different from those of the other phases the different phases are separated from each other by distinct boundaries for example water iron salt or solution of salt in water air which contains a number of gases motor oil which contains a number of hydrocarbons etc are homogeneous whereas a mixture of ice and water salt and sand iron and sulfur etc are heterogeneous however a more scientific way of classification called the chemical classification of matter is briefly described below all types of material are believed to be made up of substances a material containing only one substance is called a pure substance on the other hand materials containing more than one substance are not pure and are called mixtures pure substances are further classified into two types called elements and compounds mixtures are also two types namely homogeneous mixtures and heterogeneous mixtures pure substances example elements and compounds are always homogeneous homogeneous mixtures are also called solutions the single phase in which a solution occurs may be gaseous liquid or solid air salt dissolved in water and brass and alloy of copper and zinc are examples of gases examples of gases liquid and solid solutions respectively thus the classification of matter may be sketched as shown in the figure matter physical classification chemical classification in physical classification it is classified into these three forms solid liquid and gases chemical classification it must be a pure substances pure substance can be a mixture can then chemical classification can be homogeneous and heterogeneous mixture can be homogeneous heterogeneous homogeneous is a solution called also called solutions pure substances can make it can be classified into two elements and compounds and then elements and compounds all are homogeneous then compounds can be divided into two form in organic compounds and organic compounds in classified into two forms now we shall take up a detailed discussion of the three main classes of matter that is elements compounds and mixtures elements elements an element is usually defined as the simplest form of a pure substance with definite physical and chemical properties and which can neither be broken into nor built from similar simpler substances by any chemical or physical methods this definition is however not correct since chemists and physicists together have recently shown that elements can be broken down into and synthesized from simpler substances with the discovery of atom or molecules as a fundamental unit of matter the definition has now been modified as follows an element is defined as a pure substance that contains only one kind of particles these particles may be of may be atoms or molecules an element is defined as the pure substance that contains only one kind of particles these particles may be atoms or molecules carbon sulfur iron lead gold mercury hydrogen oxygen and nitrogen are some examples of familiar elements thus whereas iron gold copper etc contain single atoms as constituent particles held together in some of in some other cases the constituent particles are molecules which contain two or more atoms combined together for example hydrogen oxygen nitrogen etc consist of molecules comparing of comprising of two two atoms combined together the number of elements known to date is 114 and now it's by 115 of this nature occur in nature in the earth crust and the remaining have been prepared artificially in the laboratory through nuclear reactions the naturally occurring elements are distributed in the crust of the earth in varying proportions thank you